Okay. Uh, there was a big discussion on what oil pan we was actually going to use when we put the LS in my wife's car. We started out with the truck pan. You can see it had a little bit of residual orange paint on it. Uh, we weren't sure. We weren't committed for it. The first pan we bought was this one, 192-12593. Okay, got it off Amazon. And I should have checked the measurements because it's not that much shorter than the truck pan is. It's a little bit, but not that much. So the one we got now is the 126 28771 and it is much shorter than the either one of the truck pans but the difference on this one is the length of the bottom of the pan which in this application is just fine we're going to be okay but if you were going in a 60s muscles car, it probably wouldn't work. But in this application, I think this one is gonna be just fine. But if you look down, you can see the height comparison on all the pans is quite a bit. You can see the depth difference. Oil filter, all the bolt holes are the same. But whatever one you choose to by, I think this one was 150 bucks on Amazon, and it came with the windage tray, a pickup tube, and a dipstick, and the gasket. This one was 99 bucks on Amazon, and it was just the pan. So you still need the pickup tube. I'll insert the part numbers for the pickup tubes later. I don't have them right now, but I'll insert them in the video. But yeah, this is a Quick video just showing difference in the LS pans and, you know, you pick which one fits your application because I ended up on pan number three. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay. So, yeah, we're still on the oil pan saga. This is the right depth pan. Works great. But... I didn't buy the correct windage tray. So go ahead and say, yes, I'm cheap and stupid. But if you look, yeah, windage tray doesn't go, doesn't fit on the front of the paint on that little front step there. So we're gonna slice. Cause I looked up the correct windage tray and the one for the LS, or LS1, sorry, is cut off right here from GM. They just slice off the whole front section. So I'm just going to slice off the part that's in the way and leave a little bit of the windage tray. So, yeah, let's get to slicing. Okay, there we go. Now, thanks to Captain Salzal, we now have clearance on the pan. The windage tray doesn't hit the pan anymore. So, okay. Now, we install back on the motor and get it back in the car. All right, on to the next step. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for today.